In this video, I'm going to be telling you which is the best ability shoe of 2022. Yep, get ready for it, people. I'm picking a winner from the Sockany Tempest and the Sockany Guide 15. Now we've had a few stability shoes on the channel this year, the Bongo, uh, the Mizuno Inspire, it's not very inspiring, uh, the Kayano 28, uh, what else we have? We've had more. Um, and I think, to be honest with you, it's worth highlighting now, even though the sort of best of shoes videos are going to be coming out later on in the uh, summer. I wanted to get it out now because if you're looking for a stability shoe over the summer months, really, you want to be looking here. So now I've done videos on both of these shoes. We've got the Tempest and we've got the Guide 15. The Tempest is the sort of, I would say, more long run focus shoe, if I'm honest, more race day focus shoe because we've got the Power Run PB from the Endorphin line. Well, with a power run sort of frame running around the shoe to give you the support. We've got a terrible outsole uh, on this shoe. Both shoes have a terrible outsole, just so you know. Uh, we don't have any medial posting. We've got a built up wall kind of thing built on the inside here with the EVA of the power run. Fits true to size, uh, nice gusseted tongue, great lockdown, nice um, foam around the um, heel area so it's not over the top like a Kayano. We've got a really, really good pull tab. Uh, weight just under 10 ounces 9.95 actually I'm going to drop this one on there as well 10.25 so a little bit heavier um, what else do I need to tell you about the Tempest oh 130 pounds is it 130 but no that's that that's 130 pounds this is about 145 pounds both shoes have an 8 mil drop so the guide is uh, 130 pounds like I just said we've got the hollow tech support on the medial side we've got power run midsole so that's what runs around here um, but we've only got power run we don't have power run pb on here neither shoe have a plate in them very breathable upper uh, fits true to size as well and yeah that's probably in terms of stats and features of both now for me the uh, winner here is the guide 15 why because it's a more uh, versatile shoe i would say uh, both shoes, by the way, are amazing. And I think, actually, you could quite comfortably wear both. They both are the best ability shoes of 2022. But for me, if you, if you put a gun to my head, I'd say the Guide. Just because it's that little bit more functionable uh, versus this. This can do the sort of easier miles. I don't know. There's just something about it that works for me on those easier miles a little bit better than this. This is a great shoe. I ran that half marathon and it can do easy pace. It can do the sort of quicker pace, those longer runs. It can do all of it. But if I say, if you had to push me, it would probably be the guide. And it's just, I don't know. There's quite a lot of shoe here versus this one. Now, the Tempest is awesome. Um, I think it's a great... Uh, potentially half marathon shoe, even a marathon shoe for anybody who needs a stability shoe. Is it that super quick shoe that a stability shoe wearers need? I would still, uh, no, I would still send you to the Endorphin Pro 2, not the Pro 3, the Pro 2. I think if you want a plate, you go for the Pro 2. It's quite a stable shoe relative. But this does give you the Power Run PB without a plate. So you can get the fun and enjoyment of the Power Run PB. It is great. It does, you know, kick on real nice. It lacks the speed roll technology of the Endorphin line, but that's fine. That's what the Endorphin line has. But this is a really good addition to the stability shoe lineup out there in the world. And yeah, I think both of these shoes combined probably are the best shoes of 2022 for stability wearers. So there we go. Let me know in the comments. Do you agree, disagree? Do you know of a better stability shoe? Let me know. But yeah. This is where it's at, Sockany are where it's at for stability shoes this year, either the Guide or the Tempest. <laughs>